In today's video, I'll show you how to install and configure Folder View 2. Folder View 2 lets you create folders for grouping Dockers and VMs together to help the organization. It's especially useful if you're using Docker Compose. Before we get into the installation, if you already have an existing version of Folder View installed, we're going to back up that installation, save all the settings. That way, on the new version, we can import it and you don't lose anything. If this is your first time installing Folder View, then sit tight. We'll get to the installation in a moment. All right, to back up your current settings, we're going to go over to Plugins. We'll scroll down. We're going to find Folder View. We'll click on its icon to open it up. All right, under the Docker option here, you'll find Export All. Go ahead and click on there. And that'll export all the Docker configurations into a JSON file. Note where that file is. We're going to need it in a moment. Now we're going to scroll down, find VMs, go to Export All, and click on that. And that will download all of the folder settings for your VMs. All right, now with those backed up, we can remove the old version of Folder View. To do that, let's go back to our plugins. We'll scroll down, find Folder View again. There it is. All the way over on the right-hand side. We'll put a check mark in right before where it says Remove, and then click Remove. And that will remove the Folder View plugin. Only takes a second. Once it's done, click Done. And that part's done. Now, before we get into the installation, I wanted to share this with you. I found this mini blower vacuum thing that I bought on Amazon. It hasn't arrived yet, but I'm pretty excited to get it. This thing has lithium ion batteries and it's rechargeable via a built-in USB port. It has four speed settings and it goes up to 110,000 RPMs. It's nuts. Let me bring it up here just so I can show you. It's relatively pretty small, definitely portable. It's got six different attachments, vacuum attachment, and then some blower options. It's kind of nice if you're working on you know, PCs and stuff, you can get in down between keys and really clean things up. If you're like me and you have multiple computers, this thing's a must have. Can't wait for it to show up. Pretty excited. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go pick one up. All right, enough of that. On to installation. All right, let's go to our apps tab. In the search box, I'm going to type in folder view. You'll see folder view two listed there. That's the one we're looking for. Now, just some back history on folder view. Back in version six of Unraid, there was a folder view version, worked great. Version seven came out, it broke, and something with the developer of it tried to update it, but it removed the image from the community store. And I don't, I don't know all the details, but basically it killed it. I did a previous video on how to install it directly from their repository, not from the community app store here. And that worked great, still works great but there's no updates for it. You have to go manually do that. Apparently they renamed it and put it back in the community apps. Now it's easily available and it's easy to install. So it's just kind of a follow-up video on that new installation process. All right, that being said, once you find it, go ahead and click install. It only takes a second or two. Once it's done, press done. Now let's go over to our Docker tab. If you're new to folder view, this is where you configure it at. You go to Docker, Scroll all the way down. You'll see add folder here. That's folder view. You click on it. You can go through, set a name, an icon, different preview options, all the stuff I covered in a separate video that goes through the configuration of folder view. And I'll link that down in the description and I'll put it up here as well. That way you have easy access to it. The same is also true for VMs. If you go over to your VMs tab, there'll be an add folder option there as well. Same stuff. Like I said, if this is your first time installing Folder View, then make sure you go watch my video on configuring Folder View. In that video, I cover all the details of Folder View and how to get your first folder set up properly. So make sure to go check that out. All right, for all of you that had Folder View installed, we originally created a backup. Let's go restore that backup so you don't have to reconfigure everything. To do that, let's go over to our plugins tab. Once again, we're gonna look for the Folder View. There it is, Folder View 2. Find the icon for it, click on it, opens it up. Let's restore the Docker folder settings first. Under the Docker tab, we're going to look for the center option here, which is import. We'll click on import. We'll browse to the location where we saved our original Docker JSON file, which for me was under downloads. Here it is. Find it, select it, hit open, and everything comes back. Scroll down, find your VMs option, go over to the import option for that, click on the import, find your vm.json file, click open, and you're done. Now let's go back to our Docker tab and make sure everything is set up correctly. Go back to our Docker tab, and there we go. There's my folders that I've got set up. With all the containers in it, animated icons, names, 
automatic restarting options, all that stuff's all set up. It's a pretty quick and easy video today. Pretty excited about this one. Been looking forward to getting the newer version of Folder View set up so that it will automatically update. And now it's done. And if you're new to Unraid and you need to get a license, check down in the description. I have a link down there. It doesn't affect your cost at all. A little bit comes back to the channel and every little bit helps. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel directly, consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon members get early access to my videos and they're ad and sponsor free. The link is in the description. Until then, check out one of these next. And I'll see you in that one.